Hi everyone, my name is Michelle Crusoe and welcome to my channel where you learn how to get hired and thrive in the film industry. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe. In this video, I'll be covering how to do a FedEx label for shipping an item. Most productions will have an account set up with FedEx and this is, um, I have a whole page devoted to this in my ebook, I'll leave a link below. Now sometimes productions will share the accounting number or log in with a specific person in each department. But I know in recent years they feel uh, that has gotten a bit out of control. So what productions have done recently is they'll have a form uh, to fill out the information that they need to generate a label and then they'll send you a PDF of the label back to either print and put on your package or to email to the vendor so they can print, put on the package and get it shipped to you. But if you're lucky enough to get the login information, here's how you do it online. So go to FedEx.com and the login page, put in your show's login information and hit login. So go ahead and put in the ship from and to information. You'll need to include whose attention it's going to, the company if applicable, the address, zip code, city, state, and phone number. Package and shipment details. So number of packages, you can use uh, the same system for creating uh, one shipment that's going in the same place but has you know a few different packages. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to use one. I'm just shipping one thing. Approximate weight and dimensions. These are fine to be approximate, but you know get as close as you can. So with service type, Productions typically don't want you to do overnight, do standard overnight. Uh, you will need prior approval if you want to do priority or first overnight. Those are way more expensive and you have to have a very specific reason for um, having those. And make sure that, you know, whoever is receiving this is going to actually be there. These, you know, I think first overnight is at 6 a.m. or something for delivery. So look into that. I typically do FedEx Express Saver if I want it to get there within, you know, three to four days. Otherwise, if you choose ground, uh, those are two different trucks that handle express or faster or ground. And uh, most productions only have an express truck that drops off in the morning and evening, maybe in the afternoon as well. So if you do ground, you're going to have to schedule that specific FedEx ground truck to come to the office. So just be aware of that. I usually just do FedEx Express Saver every time I've gotten a quote for Saver versus ground. It's usually not that much different. So again, check with your production. Actually, all the productions I have worked with have been happy to do Express Saver. That's usually fine. Package type. Now, FedEx has some specific packaging like FedEx envelopes, boxes, tubes, or you can do your own packaging. If you do your own packaging, you'll need to put in the dimensions of the package. And here's where you can enter the dimensions, length, width, and height. And then you'd hit ship. When you hit ship, your label will appear in the next window along with the tracking number. And the tracking number will also be in the PDF of the label. So download the label, put it in a safe spot to save, and make sure you give the tracking number to whoever needs it. You know, if you're uh, shipping something on someone's behalf, or if you have a package coming your way be sure to uh, put it into the FedEx tracking system and you can say request notifications so you can see you know if it got delivered or if there is a delivery exception for whatever reason especially if it's something urgent you can keep track of it. Drop in the comments if you have any questions or feel free to hit me up directly. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.